The use of various materials is necessary if all instructional goals and objectives are to be realized by all the learners. For example, in my previous videos, I mentioned about the highly visualized materials. The research was done by Simonson 1983, article on Designing instructional media for attitudinal outcomes. He emphasized highly visualized lessons were perceived as most realistic by learners. Simonson's aim is to guide all educators to educate their learners effectively using highly visualized materials. For more information on high, um, why educators use highly visualized teaching materials for lessons, Watch the video from the video link above. An educator must realize that there are different levels and ages of adult learners. How to teach adults with such a broad distribution and classification? The selection and development of appropriate instructional materials is crucial to successful adult learning. The task is made more difficult today by the vast array of materials available. Quote by Maya Henry, cited by Wilson E. 1983. Maya Henry suggested the educator should select those that are best fitted to such learner characteristics as each educational background, ethnic background, country of birth, learning style, cognitive styles, sex, and type of hemisphere specialization. The choice of material is affected by whether the learners will be individuals in a temporary group or in an organizational or community setting. We have video tapes. We have uh, videos uh, nowadays in service training and continuing education. These are the instructional components, but we still need professional growth team to design, develop, and evaluate instructional materials. We all know computer-based materials designing open the door for more opportunity. They reveal a level of individualized learning that is far beyond traditional instructional capability. So for more information on material used for teaching adults, please find the video from the video link above. Finally, thank you so much for your participation, watching and listening. Until next time.